today i'm going to talk about uh, the similarities and differences uh, in the career between quant finance and and technology or it right so if you're wondering right what uh, career is uh, more suitable for you um, among these two career options then uh, yeah this video is going to be useful to you so if you are uh, coming from a field uh, a technical field you know mathematics uh, physics or 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 chemistry or uh, engineering computer science economics finance management science right? if you're coming from any of this uh, academic backgrounds you may be thinking of you know making a career either in tech or in finance right but in finance quant finance is very interesting uh, in a way because it's quite technical so you'll be able to you know use a lot of the technical skills that you have gained from university in quant finance um some people also you know want to explore a career in in tech right so i want to make a, a comparison between these two career uh, choices and would like to clarify <coughs> actually what uh, you know what uh, what are the pros and cons and based on that you can you know make a more informed uh, decision right so what is quant finance well you know i have discussed uh, this many times on this channel but if you are uh, new or if you haven't really heard uh, what is quant finance well it's a technical career in the field of finance where people uh, use uh, coding mathematical modeling to solve problems in finance right um, and uh, i assume that you know what is a career in in tech right you basically develop software maintain software support uh, software systems uh, or you do uh, you know extraction of data so that is more of a career in 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 tech <coughs> right so um, both are technical careers but uh, the nature of job could be very different right uh so if you are confused as to what will suit to you more uh i'm going to talk about uh, the different aspects of the career in quant finance uh, as compared to career in in it and then you can make a better choice uh, depending on you know what interests you more <coughs> right um so a career in it and tech you right it requires uh, you to be really good in coding actually coding is the most important thing if you want to work in in it whereas in quant finance uh, it, it's more interdisciplinary so it combines uh, a number of disciplines such as uh, you know computer science coding uh, but also a lot of mathematics and and quite a bit of uh, finance um, economics risk management and so on so uh, quant finance is uh, uh, you know combines uh, you know uh, some technical skills technical skills but uh, also your business skills in finance okay so uh, <coughs> it's quite interdisciplinary in nature whereas a uh, career in it or tech uh, is more about you know writing code so if you uh, if you just love coding and you do not like mathematics or you do not have any interest in finance then it or tech is a better career option for you but if you have interest in finance and if you are uh, good in mathematics and you can also write code then you may be interested in exploring a career in quant finance by the way there are not many people who have uh, all the three skills you know coding mathematics and finance skills not many people are there right that's why there is a scarcity of uh, you know people in quant finance because some people who are good in coding they may not be good in mathematics and uh, some people who good may be good in coding and mathematics they may not have any interest in finance right <coughs> so it's difficult to you know find people who are uh, good in all three right um <clears throat> so it, it's a career that is suitable for people who are interested in finance right the most important thing is that you must have some interest in finance right um you may be interested in reading finance newspapers such as, such as financial times the economist wall street journal you know these uh, newspapers you may be interested in you know doing trading maybe using your own money uh you may you, you may be interested in what's happening in the economy you know um you know you know you know news items related to inflation interest rate uh, decision of the central bank etc etc <clears throat> if you are someone who is interested in these items right uh, then you know you are interested in finance right so then yeah that's a prerequisite right that's the prerequisite but beside you must also have technical skills that means you must have a technical background uh, you must be uh, good in coding you must be um you must be good with mathematical modeling as well right you must have formal education in mathematical modeling uh you know you must have 
<coughs> some quantitative skills to begin with you could also learn on your own if you haven't really studied a lot of uh, mathematical stuff in university you can learn uh, a lot you can learn on your own right so you if you're, if you're willing to put in some effort to learn mathematics and statistics then this is one career for you right it's quite intellectually challenging actually so i mean i find quant finance more intellectually challenging compared to you know writing uh, code in a software company uh maybe <coughs> in some big tech punk companies like google and microsoft things are different but for lot of, in lot of these other companies right the it jobs are a bit mundane i would say uh you know you do the same stuff again and again so again this is my personal opinion it may not be true uh, in all places i have seen people being very happy in it career uh, and and which is also fine um but i find quant finance to be more intellectually challenging and satisfying okay <coughs> uh career in tech is also good uh, for many people it, the entry barrier is low that means anybody can enter and except maybe the big tech firms like amazon or google or microsoft apple you know you can easily get a job for example in it department of a bank or an insurance company or uh, a manufacturing company it's not that difficult to you know get your first job uh but that's a bit different in quant finance actually right um because quant finance is interdisciplinary because quant finance requires you to have uh not just technical skills but also you know knowledge of finance you know the entry barrier is high or higher compared to that of it right <coughs> uh however in tech right it's it's all about coding that means you must have strong interest in coding so if you are just a casual uh coder that means you do coding but you don't want to do it every day and and do it all your life then it or tech may not be a career for you right uh so i i <coughs> when i speak to a lot of this uh, you know a researcher right ph people doing masters or phd's you know I, I, they use some coding but uh, they don't want to do coding all their life right they just want to use coding to get something done but they don't want to make a living out of just writing code every day right and for them i think quant finance is better because you will be doing more than just coding in quant finance whereas in in it or in tech mostly uh, you will be doing coding and and uh, there is very little scope beyond writing code right <coughs> uh, but of course uh, in it you have way too many jobs you don't have that many jobs in quant finance and quant finance is only uh, you know specific to finance the world of finance and insurance and uh, yeah lending and trading uh, asset management but uh, but it is found everywhere right no matter what uh, the domain is you always have it jobs there right you can find it jobs in manufacturing firms in banking firms in uh, insurance firms in travel tourism government you know you, you name it right you <coughs> have it jobs everywhere so uh, but also it is is a fact that more and more people are chasing the it jobs right the competition is therefore quite also high in it jobs because uh, yeah the the most popular uh, undergrad degree in many countries is computer science right cs and everybody wants to get into it uh, that's also one reason why the competition is quite high and anybody can enter it even you don't need to have a technical qualification to be able to get a job in it even though you, you come from a completely different background and you have done some id certifications you may still be getting jobs uh, you know in it but that's a bit difficult in quant finance in quant finance you need to have some qualification some proper qualification at least a masters degree in some companies bachelor degree is also fine but uh, masters degree holders are preferred uh, and you need to have skills in different areas you need to be able to write proper documents you yeah you need to be a bit polished actually right if you want to work in finance all right so that's the difference and then so who should prefer quant finance over it you know uh, i had uh, some colleagues in the past you know who after completing their masters degree and some even after phd they went in to work in it but didn't quite like it and then made a move to quant finance later on um and when i i asked them the reason behind why they didn't like it uh was because in it there is very little uh, work related to uh, uh, very little work uh, which are analytical in nature okay the work is not always very analytical again except the big tech firm 
in many firms the it may be it's more regular more repetitive work uh, uh yeah uh, it may not always be very analytical whereas in quant finance you will be analyzing things every time so if you have bit of research interest right you are good in mathematics you have some interest in research uh, doing research uh, or you are very analytical then quant finance is a career uh, you should prefer over it and if you love mathematics right uh, then quant finance is an amazing career option for you uh, and if you love finance and coding that's also a good uh, combination even if you don't like mathematics right you could still work as let's say quant developer uh in uh, finance and make quite decent money um right you will be actually you know developing software in the field of finance and it's it's again a very it or tech type role but you will be supporting the quant finance people and therefore you know the requirement is bit different that means you must have also some understanding of models and and finance right so that's uh um about you know who should prefer quant finance as a career and who are the ones who should not right one is if just money attracts you to finance i think then that's not the right motivation i would wouldn't recommend you to go for finance if you don't like the field at all and just uh, because it it offers decent money you want to make i mean if you are good in anything i think you can make money right there's what's the point in just doing something you don't like if you absolutely hate maths it will be a problem right if you haven't done maths but you are willing to learn that's still good but you, if you absolutely hate maths then it's not a career for you if you hate finance again it's not a career for you you may be really good in mathematics and coding but if you really dislike finance then it's definitely not a career for you see banking and finance or investment this is a bit political in nature that means this is not like working in apple and google wearing a, a, a t-shirt and going to office and you know putting on your headphone and listening to music and then writing code all through the the day and then coming back home that's not how it works in finance right in finance you have to dress up very well you have to uh, yeah you have to be able to you should be able to talk to people you should be able to have a good network you should be willing to do work beyond the technical work um unless you are willing to do uh work beyond the uh, you know the technical work that is assigned to you then uh, it's not a career path for you and it's a bit political so you need to be able to manage stakeholders uh, uh, you know perception management is quite important so in some cases you need to be really bit uh, diplomatic um, so yeah so it's somewhat different right the career is a bit different i think a lot of people get to know about it uh, after working uh, maybe a couple of months in the bank whether um, banking or finance is actually for them or not right <clears throat> if you just want to technical work then quant finance may not be a career path for you because it's a lot more than just quant uh, just technical work right money wise um in my experience i mean what i have seen or what i have uh, you know i may be wrong but uh based on my experience of talking to people uh, i think quants make more money on average so an average quant makes more than money than average it guy or tech guy uh but that does not include the people who work in big tech firms like you know the us based tech companies you know they uh, not that quants uh, work longer hours so the work life balance is not as good as that is in it or tech um although i have heard that the people in uh, in it or tech they also work longer hours in some in companies but uh, quants uh, yeah do work long hours uh, in many places there are exceptions for instance in europe it's a bit better compared to that in us but again in london people also work long hours in india as well people work long hours so yeah so that's something to note the work life balance is not that great in finance compared to in tech stability is better right uh, career in finance is more stable compared to that in tech um right so that is the certain points you need to keep in mind right if you are confused and you are interested to sort of uh, um, you know make a choice uh, between these options so there are some points that you need to uh, consider right uh, either talk to people in the field ask these questions to them 
or try to you know get answers from different places i'm going to also discuss my views on these things so i i feel that you know if you work in quant finance right uh, you make good money and then you can easily make a move to it or tech but the other way around is not quite possible i haven't seen many people from tech moving to finance there are some exceptions uh, it's is possible but it's more difficult that's what i'm saying but it is quite easy to move from quant finance to uh, a career in tech because in quant finance also you 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 know you you do a lot of uh, technical work you write code you build models so you can easily move to data science or other technical uh, field even software engineering uh, from quant finance right uh, i also have this view that automation or ai will have more impact uh, on people working in it more impact i mean negative way i mean a lot of people will lose jobs in it or tech because of automation and ai um that may not happen uh, to the extent uh, it would happen in tech in finance in finance probably um things will be better that's again my personal opinion i may be totally wrong because I, you know nobody knows uh, how things will be in couple of years time when there will be more advancement in ai but you never know you know there may be a lot of changes but uh, i see that you know because the nature of the work in finance is such that the regulators will not allow ai systems to uh, sort of automate everything so there will always be need of experts in finance compared to that in it um quant finance is a niche career so there are not many jobs so and also in many places you don't have many jobs for instance if you are based out of a country where you don't have many finance companies there you probably won't have access to good jobs there but if you are based out of europe us india in these places you have plenty of options to explore um, and it's quite uh, it's you know quite an interesting career but in tech actually the good thing is that you can move across the industry i have discussed about this uh, already so that's one good thing about tech uh, that you can move from one industry to the other okay so there are some of the things i want to discuss if you really want to make a career in quant finance and you want to learn quant finance um, you can reach out to me i made a, a very beginner friendly course quant finance and risk modeling we'll be learning very uh, important topics from quant finance and if you are new to this field and if you are willing to you know make a move to this field or uh, want to explore a career in this field reach out to me uh, this is my you know whatsapp number you can always uh, message me you can also find the whatsapp number and the email id in the comment section okay thanks for watching.